6.10 Solutions of simple trigonometrical equations in a given interval, usually 0 to 360 or maybe something shorter like 0 to 180. Now, this is part of my ultimate revision guide for geometry. Um, this index button here will take you back to the index for geometry and then any questions, exam questions I've done like these on this topic I will put links to down here in this practice questions bar. Okay, things we need to be aware of. Um, Solutions uh, less than zero or greater than 360 will not be required. So we're only going to be on the interval zero to 360 or shorter, maybe zero to 180 or, or any other set interval between those two. Um, we need to be aware of all the sort of things that have come up so far on this topic to do with trigonometry. So we need to be um, aware of the graphs that we drew in 6.6, 6.7 and how to find solutions using this, the cyclic and, and, and uh, symmetrical properties of the graphs. Um, we can use non-calculated questions. These could be non-calculated questions if we're using things um, like 30, 60, 90 or 45 or zero angles that was from six, section 6.8. Um, so lots of things to, to keep in mind and uh, we've got three practice questions here to have a look at to solve. Uh, so let's have a look at the first one. So solving this in this interval, 0 to 360. So we've got to put together the sections where we drew the graph of sine x. We know sine x is 0 0.5. This would be a non-calculated question because this is a standard value, 0 0.5. What value of sine gives you 0 0.5? Um, well, you need to know that that's when x equals 30 degrees. Okay, so when um, sine of 30 is 0 0.5. Okay, but uh, we need to know all the values between 0 and 360. So if we just draw ourselves a quick sketch of the sine graph, it doesn't have to be um, accurate, it just needs to give us the idea of where the symmetry is. So we're looking at the value 0 0.5, so this is 0 0.5. So this is the one we've got, 30. Um, this, is a, this is a top here at 1 at 90. We want to find this value here. Where is this going to occur? Well, because of the symmetry of the graph around around this section here, you could look at how far it is away from 90, which is 60, and add it onto 90. Or you could look at how far it is away from 0 here, so it's 30 away from 0, and come back 30 from 180. Either way, you're going to get the value of 150. So there's two solutions. One is 30, one's 150. So whenever we're looking for just a sine or a cos equal to a value, then if you draw a quick sketch of the graph, so the sine graph or the cos graph, if you remember the cos graph looks like this, or even the tan graph, um, which looks like this. We've got the asymptotes um, between 0 and 360. If you know those graphs and you can draw them as quick as that, then you can answer these questions very quickly, looking for values like if it, if it was cos is 0 0.5, we'd have this value here, which would be 60. We're supposed to know that. And then we can work out 60 back from 360, which is 90, uh, 300. Okay, so using the symmetrical properties of the graphs, we can work out any value. Once we know the value between 0 and 90, we can work out any other value on the graph. Okay, so that's the that's the first one. Let's have a look at the second one. Um, tan squared theta minus 2 tan theta equals 0. Um, we've got a square in here, so we could um, think about this as a sort of quadratic, but we really just need to break it into um, tan theta times by tan theta minus 2. So if I factorise out tan theta from these two, um, just think about this being x squared minus 2x equals 0, then we can say x brackets um, x minus 2 e uh, equals 0. So this is going to be 0 when tan theta equals 0, or when tan theta minus 2 equals 0, because when we times by 0 we get 0. Okay, so we need to know, um, because we're doing from 0 to 180, it's important that we think about the tan graph between 0 and 180. That's the the graph, uh, the tan graph between 0 and 360. There's 180 there. So we've got this section here and this bit down here. So we want to know when tan theta equals 0. Well, tan theta equals 0 here and here. And we're including 0 and 180. So that's when theta equals 0 or 180, so those are the two values there. And we want to make this equal to 0, so if we rearrange that tan theta, add the 2, we get tan theta equals 2, so we've got a value of 2, 
and we're just looking for that value there. There is only one value where it equals 2 between 0 and 180. There's another one here between 180 and 360 where we're only doing the interval from 0 to 180. So we can use the calculator to get this value for 2. There's no standard value for that, so this would have to be a calculator question. Let's actually move this all the way over here. So we want uh, the inverse tan of 2, and we get 60. So theta equals tan to the minus 1 of 2, which is 63.4 to 3 figures. Okay, so that's a, um, a tan question. And the last one is going to be a cos question. So we've done sine, cos, and tan. So this one, uh, we've got a multiple of cos equals this. So we want to know what cos x is. So we just divide by the 4. So we've got cos x is minus 3 quarters between 0 and 360. So again, draw yourself a tan graph. Just a quick sketch. Remember that this is ends at 360. Middle point is 180. This 0 is 90. This 0 is 270. And we want three, minus 3 quarters. So we want to come down to minus 3 quarters. And we're going across to find these values. Now this is not a standard value again. So we don't know an exact value for this. So this should be on a calculator paper. And we can do the uh, shift cos of minus 3 quarters. And we get um, x equals 138.5903779, which is approximately 138.6. Okay, so that's uh, this value here, 138.6. But we want all the values between 0 and 360, so we need to find this value as well, the other one here. Okay, so we've got um, two ways of doing that. We can think about either how far away this is from 180. So do 180 take away that and then add that onto 180 to get this side because it's symmetrical around the 180. Or we could just go how far in we've come this way and then just do the same back from 360. So we've come 138.6 this way. So we want to do 360 minus 138.6 because that's how far that is. We just need to take it off. So might as well use the calculator. So we've got it out. So we've got 360 minus our answer gives us um, 221.4 okay so that's using um, the graph to find the multiple solutions for sine, cos and tan between 0 and 360 or 0 and 180 um, always be aware for a sine, cos and tan there are always multiple answers for any sine, cos, tan question and you've got to look at the interval you're given to decide which, va uh, which ones they are um, if at a later stage when you do A-level maths, then you'll be looking at multiple solutions because these go on forever. So you'd, you would, these solutions would be 360, multiples of 360 plus these values would give you all the solutions. But we're just sticking to the, the one or two that we have to do between 0 and 360. Okay, so that concludes my um, geometry section, mainly trigonometry. Um, there's a lot to learn there, a lot to, to get used to, but like with all maths, when you get when you do a lot of questions, you will get used to doing them, and they will become much more familiar. So even when you start out, you find it tricky. Um, the more you do, the better you'll get. So keep working hard at it, and you should be fine.